So I'm sure most of you watching really want this Lego set, but don't have it. Probably because it's a bit too expensive. But what if I told you you could buy a very similar set to this one for around a quarter of a price? So you may or may not have heard of Goody before, but basically what Goody is, it's another brick manufacturer that also makes Lego compatible bricks. And they've made an aeroplane set, the Goody 8913. I've already both built and reviewed this set. Links are going to be in the description below. And in this video, we're going to be comparing the Goody 8913 to the newest LEGO City Aeroplane set. Before we get started, you guys know how once you make a good decision, you get some sort of a sense of satisfaction? Well, you see that red subscribe button? Go ahead and click it. You see that like button? Go ahead and click it as well. And congratulations, you just made a good decision. So starting off this comparison, let's take a look at the specifications of both of the sets. So for the LEGO set, it costs 100 bucks. And for the Goody set, it costs $25 to $30, depending on where you're buying it from. The Lego set comes with 669 parts. The Goody set comes with 856 parts. And for the Lego set, that turns out to be 14.9 cents per brick. And for the Goody set, it comes out to be a whopping 0 0.03 cents per brick. Talk about value right there. And for the Lego set, it comes with 9 minifigures. And for the Goody set, it comes with 8 minifigures. So just from that spec sheet, we can already tell that with the Goody set, we get a lot more parts for a much, much cheaper price tag. I mean 0 0.03 cents per brick, that is tremendous value right there. And of course, with the Lego set, you do get 9 minifigures, one more than the Goody set, but an infant is included in the Lego set. Also, with the Lego set, you only get one pilot, whereas with the Goody set, you get two pilots. Now let's take a look at the planes. Both planes feature a half passenger, half cargo type build. In terms of sizing, both aeroplanes are 8 studs wide, the Goody aeroplane is a little bit longer, and it does have more passenger space and less cargo space. Now with the Lego aeroplane, aesthetically with the exterior, it is really nice. The colour scheme is on point, I really like the engines, um, the cockpit is a little bit smaller uh, in terms of design, but I quite like it, it gives more of an appearance of a jumbo jet. Uh, overall, I really like the exterior, I just wish there were a few more windows, because Having such few windows does make it look a little bit odd. The interior, definitely very nice and detailed. The cockpit is, I'd say, one of the best cockpits ever. Very nice controls, very realistic. I really like everything about the cockpit of this aircraft. Moving back, we have a passenger cabin. I really like how there's a TV screen up there. Adds a nice touch. Unfortunately, there are only four passenger seats. Definitely not enough, especially for what's meant to be a jumbo jet. Finally, in the back cabin, we have a lavatory, a place to store carry-on baggage, and a place to store the drink cart. Starting with the lavatory, not the best execution, I'm afraid. It's just not functional and a bit too small. Not a big fan of a place to store carry-on baggage, because instead, LEGO could have opted to add a small galley in instead, which would be a lot more valuable for the interior of this aircraft. Now, moving on to the Goody aircraft, the colour scheme going on is a lot more simple than with the LEGO airplane but it does work, it does look really good aesthetically as well. Not a big fan of the design of the engines, I prefer the LEGO ones a lot more, definitely a lot more aesthetic and a lot more realistic. Also, one thing I really, really dislike about this aircraft is the design of the windows. I have no idea what the designers at Goody were thinking. Essentially, Goody just created a problem for themselves to fix with the interior. Now, what I'm talking about is, well, first of all, the windows are a lot smaller than the Lego ones in terms of the glass frame and what Goody essentially did was in between each window is a little one stud wide piece and they do this in between each window. Now this does two things, number one is it makes the exterior of the plane look horrendous. Like, if you're gonna buy this, the windows just look really out of place, way too small, and it gives it more of an appearance that it's a medical plane. And number two, it disrupts the cabin flow. Now, what I mean by this is, in the interior of the plane, the passenger seats have to be offset away from the windows to give minifigures some space to rest their arms, because that little one stud thing between each window is essentially blocking minifigs from resting their arms on the window. And this creates a really narrow aisle. Taking a look at the interior of the plane, the cockpit is a lot more simple than the LEGO one. Uh, the controls are quite basic, no joysticks for the pilots and no engine throttles. Quite disappointing to be honest. Especially since we've been spoilt with the sheer detail of the LEGO cockpit. Moving backwards is just a blank slate of aircraft fuselage. 
quite disappointing because Goody could have added anything, a lavatory, um, a galley, anything, but it does give you a chance to customize and add your own creative touches to this aeroplane. Over here is a passenger cabin, and you see what I mean by how the seats are offset to give minifigs a place to rest their arms, and yeah, this does create a, a really narrow aisle. Apart from that, you do only get six seats, quite basic, but I also like how it's tiled. And behind that is the galley. I do like the approach they took with the galley with the different shelves. Um, a lot more realistic to what I think LEGO would do if they did add a galley. Also, there is plenty of space between the actual shelving of the galley and the passenger seats. In this space, I think Goody should have added uh, maybe some seating for the crew. Maybe even extended the galley. Maybe even added a lounge. That would be, that would be really cool. So overall, out of 10, I'm going to give the LEGO Aeroplane an 8.4. And for the Goody Aeroplane, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Moving on, let's take a look at the accessories included in both sets. With the LEGO set, we get a really small airport, a car to transport in the plane, and a little airport cart to load the car onto the aircraft. Now, these accessories are actually quite simple, but very effective. Let me explain. The whole set was designed around moving the car in the aircraft. This essentially creates something called a playability factor, and this allows kids to make up stories and let their imaginations run wild. But on the other side of the coin is the collector, people who don't really care so much about the playability factor, but they want to add an, and create an extensive LEGO collection. And I think the accessories included in this LEGO set definitely allow them to do so, minus the airport. Also, I'll be linking the review video in the description below of this LEGO set. Now with the Goody set, I like what they did with the accessories here, but I think the execution could have been just a little bit better. On the positives, I really like how the control tower is a freestanding building, adds a nice touch. I really like how the forklift um, can actually load cargo on to the aircraft that also adds to the playability factor and also is great for the collectors. And I like how they include cargo and like the pallets as well. I'd say the only negative I really have is the boarding cart. Now, hear me out first. I actually really like this. I, I like the approach they took. And I, I like the whole concept of being able to drive a whole boarding cart up to the aircraft to load passengers on and off. But I feel like the execution could have been done better. It's, to be honest, not the best looking and not the most functional. Those are just really minor things. But apart from that, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I just feel like it could have been done better. And so for the accessories, LEGO gets a 9.1 out of 10. And for Goody, Goody gets a 9.3 out of 10. So which is the better set? I'm going to have to give the better set to LEGO. This is because the plane of the Goody is just horrendous. If you're going to buy it, I think you you have to be prepared with Windows to change it out and essentially make your own plane with the parts that you get with it. The overall better set, and I think most kids and even adult collectors are going to enjoy, is going to be the Lego set. But if we're going to add money into the equation, obviously Goody is going to take home this crown. This is because this set provides insane money, insane value for money compared to the Lego set. I mean 0 0.03 cents per brick is insane. So at the end of the day, it is your decision on which set you buy. But my recommendations are, if you have the money, go for the Lego set. But if you're more conscious about how much you're paying, go for the Goody set. Also, something worth mentioning is that Lego sets maintain their value. And over time, the value of the Lego set will increase, especially if you keep it in good condition. Keep the box and the original instructions. Whereas Goody sets won't. Now, before I wrap up this video, I'm going to answer a few frequently asked questions about Goody bricks. First of all, where can I buy them? You guys can find Goody Bricks on AliExpress, that's probably the best and most reliable source. Also, this video is not sponsored by Goody. Second is, how are the quality of Goody Bricks? Um, I'm going to make a video directly reviewing or specifically reviewing Goody Bricks in the future. Make sure to subscribe for that. But basically, um, I'd say if LEGO was a 10 out of 10 for brick quality, Goody would maybe an 8. There is a pretty obvious difference between lego bricks and goody bricks but they're not awful the quality is not bad it's i'd say it's all right 
And finally, is Goody a knockoff Lego brand? No, it's not. Goody designs and manufactures their own sets. I think you guys are getting confused with Lepin. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. This has been a really long video to film. Make sure to subscribe. We are really close to 500 subscribers. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.